Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome to the new video. Today I want to talk about a few things regarding Doomfist's release. Um, first of all, the impact he's going to have on the community itself when he hits the public servers. I believe that Doomfist is going to destroy our current comm system. You know, the 222. Because Doomfist himself can at least take down two people if you're not skilled with him. You have his right click that's just is basically a fucking charge from Reinhardt with some extra spice. <laughs> and then you have the amount of things he can get away with. He can jump, he can uh, leap, he has an automatic loading left click that's really overpowered if you hit all of them. Well, even one of them with a decent body shot you can basically do like 50 60 damage with one shot of it so a tracer would take four of them and he just dead and not even considering the abilities that doomfist has and his ultimate his ultimate is the most broken thing blizzard have ever, has ever produced looking at the fact that he can just fucking leap from the other side of the map to you and everything in a circle pretty much dies it's just guaranteed death death because i've been wondering what the fuck blizzard was thinking when they decided to make doom was like all right okay so we're gonna release a new hero well who should it be should we make a black guy maybe yeah um, about that we don't really have any lore for oh, wait they do we still have doom fist we haven't released that yet and then they just decided to match in a lot of fucking uh, abilities that other heroes already have and make it doom fist just adjust a little bit because if you look at it the charges from reinhardt the ultimates could be uh, yeah well reinhardt slash um, let's see, Reinhardt slash who actually? Uh, Daniel Reinhardt for the hammer. It looks kind of hammer downish. Uh, not considering that a lot of people have the well hammer down ish animations, but Reinhardt he he's a pretty good copy of Reinhardt. And in all honesty, I thought he would be a tank considering the amount of uh, health he has too. He has 250, that's pretty much, it's not like the best amount, but he also has the ability to get a bit more, I don't know what it is, but it's like energy or something, or, or something like that. But anyway, going back to the amount of combos and what he's going to do to the current comp system. So look at the fact that you have, most most time you have a Reinhardt, Zarya or Diva. Well, Orisa too, but Orisa is situational. But e either way, you have Seinart, uh, Seinart, okay, uh, Reinhardt and Orisa, and then you have mostly mostly Farah and Soldier, and as healers you have Mercy, Zen, or Lucio, mo most of the time. Then, um, so what you might see is that they will switch out a healer for Doomfist, and Doomfist will be the third DPS. So you would have Reinhardt. Uh, Zarya, Soldier, Farah, Doomfist, and may maybe like a Mercy, because Mercy is still the best solo heal in my opinion. But the amount of combos he can do, he can even combo with Winston. Winston would just push them all into a corner, for example, on Watch One Gibral Gibraltar. Um, it's really tight there. So Winston would ult. Um, push them all into a little corner, at least in, inside of a certain radius that uh, Doomfist can hit them, and they will just annihilate it. I mean, you can even combo that with a, a little bit of Ana, so Ana has uh, the nano boost on Doomfist, but then again, you, you might want to not do that since Ana is really. Well, it's, it's not like she's bad, but it's just hard to play. Alright, so the combos that Doomfist can do will probably be mostly with Reinhardt and Zarya. Just like I said, also with Winston maybe. Um, let's see, even Roadhog could probably help out a bit with his ult. He would just push them all in a, in a similar way so Doomfist could annihilate most of them. 
and then just done. That would be done. The team would be wiped, and they would only have to use like two ultimates, and they still have their uh, Farah and Soldier. And Farah can be really, really gnarly in situations like, um, for example, you are on Hollywood, and you move the payloads through the area that's really tight. Farah can just flank and just destroy them. Well, at least not not destroy, but at least pick two or three out, and then the rest of the team can just finish that up. So, considering that, I think Doomfist will have a huge impact. And you will see a lot of people trying to play Doomfist, but Doomfist is not an easy character in all honesty. I had to at least play, like, the, I don't know how, I don't know how long it's been out now, but I've played since he was released in the PTR, and looking at that, you have a lot of good people there, but Doom, Doomfist is also a character of good timing because your uh, your right click is the most powerful thing you have other than your ult. You could even consider it as a semi ult. It gets you away really fast. Like if you look at the speed that the guy just flies, it just fucking rocket there. Other than that, yeah, I don't know. Doomfist is just really, really grossly overpowered. I don't know what I could say about that. And he's gonna be really well played in the rank. He's th this is probably their best hero ever since Sombra. No, not Som Sombra. No, no, no. Um, hmm. Oh, okay, so he can at least get a, get on par with Farah and Soldier damage wise. He is a, he's his own tank, and I mean he can get away real fast. So, looking at the fact that he has a bit uh, evasive abilities. So he can jump and then leap away using his shift and E, I think. Um, and then he also has his right click, which can basically cross map things. Well, not cross map, but he can jump a really, really large amount of uh, space without any effort. Um, and the knockback on that move like you hit someone, and if they hit the wall, it deals more damage. And then you just left click if they're still alive, and it's over. Um, okay, so. Imagine this, you have a uh, Reinhardt, uh, let, let's go for uh, for Orisa. You have a Reinhardt, Orisa, Soldier, Farah and Doomfist with a Soul of Mercy Shield. What you will see is that the Farah and Soldier will stay more in the back lines giving the Doomfist cover, while Reinhardt covers uh, either, do, it depends on what he wants, he, he will solo cover Doomfist from like the left side if we are shooting from that, um, and Risha will protect the other two, and Mercy will of course heal everyone. But here, here it is, if Doomfist can get behind enemy lines, use his ult, right? okay so Reinhardt is basically death for a distraction then, Reinhardt sees that they are gonna focus Doomfist, he uses his ult, Doomfist uses his ult, lets it charge up a bit, and then boom, two man flank. That, that's basically what's gonna happen. That's gonna happen a lot in this uh, in this season. I mean, this season season five was really good. I jumped from low silver to gold. I was so happy, but I didn't want to play anymore due to the fact that I don't want to drop out of gold. Um, with Doomfist coming up, I think I'm gonna either main him or he's gonna be in my top three because now I play Farah uh, let's see uh, Farah Diva Reinhardt anything that's considered meta but he's gonna throw off the meta so be prepared for some wacky combos there um, other than that I don't really have anything to say about Doomfist anymore if anything comes up I will make a new video about it and I will see you guys in the next Overwatch video. Thank you very much for watching and have good luck in the next season when Doofins is coming out. Bye bye. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching this. I am really glad with the channel's improvement in the last few months. We went from zero subs to 270 I think now in less than two months. You guys have been very supportive of me. You guys even helped me a lot with um, the donation that you sent and the amount of people that watch your streams. It really means a lot to me.
So I'm gonna continue making these videos and live streaming for you guys and I hope you will stay with me for a long long time. Thank you again and have a great day. Bye bye.